What's up, YouTube family? I'm back again with another video. So if you're new to Let the Word Family, make sure you smash that thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe and make sure your post notifications are turned on. Without further ado, cue the intro, period. All right, y'all. So today I'm bringing you a breakfast mukbang. Okay, I've been doing a lot of these breakfast mukbangs lately. I've been loving some, some breakfast. But let's go ahead and pray over our food. And I'm going to tell y'all what we have. Let's we'll do our thumbnail and get into it, okay? All right. All right, y'all. So let's do a thumbnail. Okay, something, something is gonna work. Something's gonna work. Anyway, um, so we are having some scrambled eggs, some chicken liver and gravy, and some grits. Yo, it's gonna be good. My neighbor made this for me. Breakfast. Mm. The the grits and the eggs are always are always bumped together. Scrambled eggs. Get into it with some grits. Cheesy onions. Get into it. Mm. Oh my gosh. Here's the liver. The onions and the bell peppers. I never thought chicken livers would go good before breakfast with eggs, but it pairs very nicely with the grits, the onions, and the, the, um, the gravy and the grits. Mm -hmm. And then the buttery egg with cheese. Oh. I forgot my drink. Sorry, I forgot my drink. Oh, oh it's pineapple ribs. Guys, it's ribs. It's good. Real good. And those down the street at the store, um, those are only 50 cents. They be selling at them fast, though. They always have them. They just sell out quick, too.
the grits. I said before, y'all, grits is one thing you don't eat hot. If you don't know, you will know once you eat a hot grit. So what's going on there, everybody? How y'all doing? Mm. What's going on with everybody? Um, so here lately, guys, I've been thinking about traveling, going to take trips and going places and stuff. Um, so I got really down. I'm really down. What I'm talking about. So I want to plan some, some some trips and go see some people and stuff. So I, I was looking at um, how much it, 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 it costs to fly. Okay, sorry. We out of space in my battery and stuff. So anyway, me over my memory, not battery. But anyway, so I was looking at trips and prices and stuff, and it's really cheap between March, between now and like May to fly. It's really cheap. I'm talking like round trip tickets, 60, 70, 80 bucks for round trip tickets. Now there was one that had a layover for like one day in Atlanta. <laughs> Don't know how I feel about that. But at least you can plan ahead for it and it's only 60 bucks. Hmm. So, I mean, most people, most people might say, oh, it's not worth it. It's a day layover and I'm in Atlanta. But for me, if I'm just going on a trip for fun and I'm not like in a hurry to get there or back, um, and I'm, you know, saving <laughs> some money, then it's not a problem for me to stay like an extra day somewhere like in, uh, in Atlanta, like a hotel. A hotel might cost you about sixty dollars. It was gonna be sixty, maybe one hundred fifty dollars. A hotel or motel, <coughs> um, or there's even there's other options. So Atlanta has like a a sauna, and they have rooms you can rent for, and you get eight hours. So you know, I, I can literally go to the sauna, rent a room, sleep, take a shower, everything I want to do, and go back to the airport when it's almost time for like twenty dollars. Maybe 30. It's still cheaper than paying a 200 on ticket. That's all I'm saying. Hopefully that's my end of the recording. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Is this something that everybody eats for breakfast? Have y'all ever had chicken liver for breakfast? It's something that, like, it's something that I can honestly say I'll eat it again. I mean, if you haven't had it, I would say you should, you should really taste it and try it out. I think you'll like it. I mean, so I've never been a big f fan of liver. So if you don't have fixed it or how to season food <laughs> properly, I wouldn't, you know. I don't like liver, but if you like liver, go for you. This is good. Mm -mm -mm. I got a lot to do today. I gotta go. How do I get food in my hand? How? At this point, mm. 
Mm -mm -mm. Oh, so yeah, so the other day, so I was going to Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. And I'm walking, and when I get almost to the store, I look in a parking lot, and there's a cop in the middle of the parking lot singing. I'm like, oh, something must have happened. The only way a cop sing in the middle of the parking lot and not parked is if something happened and they're, you know, in the middle. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh, something must have happened. I'm like, I know damn well, but nobody trying to rob Dollar Tree <laughs> or stealing from Dollar Tree. I know times is hard and I understand prices are going up. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. Even Dollar Tree prices are going up too. But for me, stealing from the Dollar Tree is crazy. It's wild, bro, at this point. Anyway, so I'm like, something must have happened. So I so I go in the Dollar Tree, I get my stuff, and I'm in line, I'm looking around, I'm trying, pay, I'm trying to look and see what's going on, I'm listening, baby. So it was a register beside, you know, every, you know, okay, I'm sorry, I keep running out of space. So anyway, <clears throat> okay, so anyway, the story. Um, so anyway, and so you know what, uh, Inside every um, Dollar Tree, they have like a little, the manager's office up front, side of the registers against the, the wall. That's the register was on. So I'm, so I'm standing in line and I can hear people in the office. And somebody walked in the office and I heard somebody and I said, okay, there's somebody, people in there. And I heard a man and I heard a female. Well, then I heard the cop's radio go, I was like, oh, it's a police officer. And I said, I knew it's somebody was in there stealing. So I started listening. Well, the guy apparently had came. Okay, so I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just story because my phone keeps running out of space. So anyway, and the guy had, so the story was the guy had the duffel bag sitting on the register furthest away from the office, closest to the exit door. And, the, and he kept putting different items on the register. Well, I'm like, okay. So when I say he put it on the register, he, he was putting on the belt. And he kept putting different things on that belt along with that bag. So it's obvious he's getting ready to steal. And he runs out there with a whole duffel bag full of stuff. What well, they called the police. And they look, so they was giving a description of what they look like and stuff. And they're trying to say, well, if we find him, can we bring him back and have your idea? I said, oh shit. So I'm leaving and I'm cutting through the, the so I'm cutting through the, the daycare slash gym lot that I just signed up at. I signed up at this, this new gym down the street from me. I'm cutting through the parking lot. And that's the idea. I see two police cars in the middle. I'm like, what the hell are they doing over here? I walk up and there's a man with a double bag and a bunch of snacks and candies and cookies and pops and cakes. And they got him handcuffed and all these snakes and cat snacks are stacked on top of the copper car with a double bag. I said, they caught his scrawny ass quick. They caught him quick. I said, oh baby, they don't play. I said, oh, you think you gonna steal from the Dollar Tree? and walk away to tell about it? No, baby. The Dollar Tree is cuffing people, okay? Dollar Tree ain't never cuffed people. From, most times, if you stole something from, from, from a convenience store, Dollar Tree, they just chalked it up because cops, how likely the cops are going to find you? No, they finding for y'all. They looking for y'all these days when y'all stealing. Now, things is getting too high. We are doing too bad these days to be stealing. And you know, all that all that does is it, 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 it makes these businesses go up higher and higher and higher and higher. Now, I don't condone stealing, right? Because there's places you can go to get free food and free all kind of stuff from that. So there's a lot of ways you can get food, right? But I feel like is if you are really that hungry and you don't have no other option and you really need something to eat, okay, go steal you a cheeseburger or go steal you a little cold salad from the store. Get one thing, keep pushing. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. <laughs> stealing a hamburger and stealing an entire meal is different. <laughs> It's entirely different, y'all. That's all I got for today. Make sure y'all smash that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you post notifications to our turn. Don't worry. Make sure you go follow me on my other social medias. TikTok, Beagle, Instagram, Facebook. So all that is linked in the description box below, as it always is. And make sure y'all get y'all one of them shirts. Stay at another day shirts. Um, it, it's a mental health awareness brand. Um, but I'll let y'all know about that already. So y'all make sure you get y'all one of them shirts. They are still on sale and they are $10. And I will leave that link also in the description box as well. Always remember, stay blessed, stay positive, and stay motivated. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.